Hi, this is Tammy Gutierrez and this is the Pimpy Mat Mini Vid. You're going to need a resistance band for today. We're going to do a little bit of a leg press, okay? Super, 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 super kind on the joints because you're using a band for resistance. Super healthy for rehab because you're working it in all directions when you do the press. You're not overloading it. You're not loading it with gravity. So it's very gentle on the joints, very constructive to get things moving towards a healthier, stronger position rather than trying to beat them up along the way, okay? So just lay on your back. Your band is gonna go around your heels, okay? So both feet are in a parallel position and your heels are going into the band side by side, okay? Elbows are down on the ground, shoulders and chest open up. You take an inhale, exhale to press the legs out into the band, pretty simple. So if you were at the gym and you were in the leg press, it's pretty loaded at this point if you're on your back, but with a band, it's super healthy and fabulous, okay? You're in charge of how much resistance you're working. So this black band, it's an extra heavy band, and for leg work, I really like that because I like the resistance of it, um, and I don't have any issues in the knees or the ankles, okay? So, but if you want even more or you have a lighter band, you just choke up on it, anchor it in the ground with your elbows and press, okay? Whatever angle you choose, keep it consistent, press out. You should be able to feel your quads, you should be able to feel your tush, okay? You're gonna do three, two, and one, okay? And when you do those, you could do three sets of like 10, 12, or 15. Um, start with one set, see how your body responds, and then you can add more. Um, you can also do single leg presses, so clearly it's more resistance on one leg. If you're doing a single leg press, you need to watch the tracking of your knee and your foot. So your big toes aiming straight for the ceiling. You want your knee to try to beeline in between your big toe and your second toe. Okay, then switch legs, meaning it may try to waver, wobble back and forth. Take an inhale, exhale, press. And that the alignment and watching the alignment is probably what's going to build the most strength and the most challenge and transition in your body. Form means everything. You still get to work your core while you do it. Inhale, scoop that belly button up. Exhale to narrow through your ribs. So remember in Pilates that your core is your power. So it's got to be anchored and everything you're pushing, pulling, or doing has to come from that connection. Two and one. Okay, rest, climb out of there. So both of those, you could do them the double leg, which is easier, then the single leg. Do 10, 12, or 15. Start with one set, see how your body responds, add the second and the third. But it's all about your form. The minute your form falls apart or you get too tired to keep your form, it's not worth it. Ditch it. Okay? So thanks for uh, joining me for your mini vid for your quads, your hamstrings, your glutes. So lower body, it's a leg press. Um, if you're looking for longer workouts with me, pimpyourmat.com, 30-minute workouts every three days. Thanks.